All right, first and foremost, I'm going to start off by saying Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai. Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai. Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Yahawa Shai. Call Hala Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwaf that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this lesson, Lord's will. It'll be edifying. Real, real quick, I'm going to just play this video off of RT. I just saw this actually. It's from one day ago. It says, woman's severe reaction to Pfizer COVID vaccine prompts investigation. Okay. And this is a response to you scoffers and scorners, man. I'm going to leave one scripture and I'm going to play the video and that's it, man. Because, you know, I had, I had posted a video on both my channels, you know, in regards to this lady. And I didn't respond, but you had uh, scoffers and scorners. <laughs> you know, I even posted it on my, um, I posted it somewhere else. And you had a couple people talking shit, talking about, oh, that's a fake video, this, that, and the third. Hey, man, <laughs> you guys are willfully ignorant, man. That's why that day is going to overtake you as a thief in the night, as a thief in the night. Okay, that day is going to catch you. When you least expect it, because we've been warning you over and over, broken records, okay? Warning you of the enemy coming in as a flood, warning you of Jacob's trouble, walking, warning you of the hour of temptation, the RFID microchip. We've been warning you of numerous things, but you people, people are willfully ignorant, okay? You know, just living in denial, you know, just making excuse after excuse after excuse. But guess what? Hey, the doors of mercy are running out. Time is running out. That day is going to overtake you, man. Okay? Anyway, uh, as you can see, the coming day of the Lord. Second Peter's 3 and 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days, and we are in the last days. And you scoffers and scorners solidify that. Willfully ignorant. You know? How long will you simple ones love simplicity? Okay? You know? Second Peter's 3 and 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers. Walking after their own lust, okay, you know, and that's what that's what it is. You people are scoffers, willfully ignorant, and you dead ass wrong, okay. So I'm gonna play this video and I'm out of here, man. Uh, keep pushing, man. We're close. Shalom, wa abad the ball again off of RT. Woman's severe reaction to Pfizer COVID vaccine prompts investigation. In America, a video of a woman suffering convulsions after receiving a coronavirus jab has found safety fears. Uh, you may find the images coming up now disturbing. Brand Griner's mother received the Pfizer vaccine. This was in Louisiana at the start of January. According to her son, she hadn't experienced any kind of health issues prior to having the shot. Griner described his mother's condition in an exclusive interview with RT. Yeah, but everything is fake. Everything is fake news. Everything is medical misinformation. People are willfully ignorant, man. Okay? That's why the scripture said, Who shall pity, um, um, how does it go? Pity, uh, th them that got bitten by the, uh, bitten by the snake, man. Salaki, let me get that. I, I butchered that. Salaki, let me pull that. Salaki, I had to look it up. I, I butchered it. This is Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus in the, uh, Apocrypha, chapter 12, verse 13. Who will pity a charmer? That is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts. Okay. You see? So who, one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Okay. So if you go down there and you take that vaccination and your ass get fucked up. Okay. Or you go down there, you check, you ultimately take that chip. You trust in the oppressor. You trust in the enemy and you get pierced through. And you get destroyed by your Habashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, that's your ass, man. Ain't nobody going to feel sorry for you. You've been warned over and over. Broken records, okay? This is not a game. Repent. The doors of mercy are drastically closing, man. All right? You know? The devil is coming down with great wrath, okay? The enemy is about to come in like a flood, all right? Repent. Seek the Lord while he may be found, all right? In America, a video of a woman suffering convulsions after receiving a coronavirus jab has found safety fears. Uh, you may find the images coming up now disturbing. Brand Griner's mother received the Pfizer vaccine. This was in Louisiana at the start of January. According to her son, she hadn't experienced any kind of health issues prior to having the shot. Griner 
described his mother's condition in an exclusive interview with RT. I got it. Just feeling... She said that uh, the day afterwards she woke up with a headache and she's had the headache every day since until today. Today's the first day she hasn't had a headache. But uh, she started noticing the seizure-like movements in her leg, in her left leg first. And uh, it was three days afterwards. And she was admitted to the hospital by four days. With, uh, she had no control over her legs when she was trying to walk. Doctors said they think it's the, the metals in the vaccine that is causing her to have the neurological reaction. Well, Pfizer has not confirmed the case and said it was investigating. But it's not the first time concerns have been raised over the safety of the jab. Norway is currently investigating the deaths of dozens of elderly people who recently received the vaccine. Greiner, again, says that the response he received to his video suggests that his mum's case isn't a one-off. I've heard of other cases. Um, since I shared the video on Facebook, I've had thousands. That's ultimately why we know a famine is coming. Because they're getting they're they're getting a lot of resistance, a lot of truthers, you know, a lot of people are bucking up against this uh, vaccination, against this, um, and ultimately they're gonna buck up against a chip. A lot of people, are, like the elders always say, down there in the Bible Belt, <clears throat> you got a lot of these Edomites that are fully aware of what's going on. They watch our videos, okay? They got a lot of people that they you know secret disciples of Yahushai, man, you know. And remember, you're going to have Israelites that are going to come back looking like some of these uh, heathen heathens, man. Their seed may go back to the one, one of the 12 patriarchs, one of the 12 tribes. But, you know, they, they look like the heathen nations, man. You know, Israelite foreigners. So, hey, you got, hey man, we in them times, man. And Esau Edom is fully aware that they're going to have backlash. Okay, that's why they're more and more, they're deploying the troops. Okay, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. You know, and then and it's so many uh, side effects. They they rush the damn vaccination. You know, you know, but but yet they they their places are, are are making it mandatory. You can't travel without a, a negative test. You can't go in a certain arena, certain events, man. We see where we clearly see where things are heading, man. Okay, you know, things are about to turn up, man. They, everything is not fake news. Everything is not. Uh, misinformation man some things are as they seem man and esau edom can't control everything the information is coming out you know that man of sin is revealed man you know so shall they make their tongues fall upon themselves a lot of truthers a lot of doctors a lot of people are, are, are given legitimate information that's why ultimately esau edom's gonna just lock the internet down okay you know which he's trying to do now, but he's having a hard time. That's why ultimately, the, hey, that famine is coming. We're close, man. Repent. You know, I'm going to play this. This was a fire. This, man, you think, you think, you guys think this is a game. Again, I'm, I'm I got to bring this out again. <clears throat> Salakia. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 13. I'm pretty sure 12. 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? And the elder apostles the hall brought out. How that how that syringe is likened unto the damn fangs of a serpent. That's so true. You know, that's a good um observation, man. Okay? You know? That the poison comes out of the fangs of the serpent, which you can liken that unto that damn syringe. Okay? So anyway, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with this who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Yeah, you playing with the devil, you playing with that serpent. Who gonna be mad with you? I, I, I'm not gonna be upset when that when that cobra bites your ass. You shouldn't have been playing with him, okay? You know, never trust thine enemy. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent, or any such come nigh a wild beast, man? And Esau Edom is a wild beast, man. Okay, but you because he ain't shown his teeth anymore, you know, you know, he, you forgot, you forgot that perpetual hatred, you forgot. You know, his blessing, that so you forgot who, who you're dealing with, man. You know? But guess what? Esau Edom is cornered. You know, he had but a short time to establish this new world this new world order, this agenda, this cashless, cashless society. Okay? You see? So this beast, hey, he's cornered. He's going to lash out. You see? So one that goes to a sinner and is defiled, okay, and you take that chip, you know, that's the ultimate defile. You're defiling your temple. Okay? You say you're making a, a pledge, an allegiance to Esau Edom, 
Okay, you see you saying you're none of your how about you how shies, man. Okay, with that digital all. You see? It says, So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Yeah, we ain't gonna have we ain't gonna feel sorry for you, man. You ain't, we ain't gonna feel sorry for you. Okay, like they say in the islands, who won't hear will feel. You gonna feel. Just like this lady's feeling it, you know? Again, woman's severe reaction to Pfizer COVID vaccine prompts investigation. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it play out, and I'm gonna and I'm, I'm out of here. All right, Shalom, man, keep pushing. We're close, man. Keep watching. Wa abad babo. In America, a video of a woman suffering convulsions after receiving a coronavirus jab has fanned safety fears. Uh, you may find the images coming up now disturbing. Brent Griner's mother received the Pfizer vaccine. This was in Louisiana at the start of January. According to her son, she hadn't experienced any kind of health issues prior to having the shot. Griner described his mother's condition in an exclusive interview with RT. I got it. Just feeling... She said that uh, the day afterwards she woke up with a headache and she's had the headache every day since until today. Today's the first day she hasn't had a headache. But uh, she started noticing the seizure light movements in her leg in her left leg first and uh it was three days afterwards and she was admitted to the hospital by four days with uh she had no control over her legs when she was trying to walk doctors said they think it's the the metals in the vaccine that is causing her to have the neurological reaction well, Pfizer has not confirmed the case and said it was investigating. But it's not the first time concerns have been raised over the safety of the jab. Norway is currently investigating the deaths of dozens of elderly people who recently received the vaccine. Greiner, again, says that the response he received to his video suggests that his mum's case isn't a one-off. I've heard of other cases. Um, since I shared the video on Facebook, I've had thousands and thousands of people message me comment and i've read myself personally i haven't read all the messages but i've read hundreds of them myself personally of people telling me their stories their, their daughters or sons their mothers their you know all all, all member, members of their family have had reactions to other vaccines i reply to some of them you know I've had a lot of messages that are negative saying that this isn't your mom or you know you're lying or whatever negative comment scoffers how you go scoffers man that's to be expected scoffers <laughs> you're gonna tell this man that that's not his fucking mother he man man you people are gone gone but like i said who will pity the charmer who going nobody gonna feel sorry for you nobody's gonna feel sorry for you damn sure not the men of the lord damn sure not us because we've been warning you their stories their, their daughters or sons their mothers their you know, all, all, all member, members of their family have had reactions to other vaccines. I reply to some of them, you know, I've had a lot of messages that are negative saying that this isn't your mom or, you know, you're lying or whatever. Negative comments, you know, it's it's not really something that I'm trying to entertain too much. I don't know why people wouldn't trust it. They want the COVID vaccine to take away COVID so things can get back to normal. Exactly. Because they love it here in Babylon the Great. But hey, you can't heal Babylon. This place is through. Anyway, keep pushing, man. Shalom. Wa abad babal.